How's it going, Cal Kids? Today we're looking at three five. What? Where? How did I get here? Yes, I'm making Advanced a video from school. Advanced virus database That's has been updated. Because, just because I don't know. I felt like I had my laptop here. I had a little bit of time after school. I might as well make it now so I don't have any homework to do updated. at home. So I'm going to use my time wisely. Okay. Uh, derivatives of trig functions. Okay. Here it is. It's, yep, updated. That's nice. Here we go. Uh, this is. Should maybe just home. Your derivative of sine is cosine. Your derivative of cosine is negative sine. Hopefully, I did a warm up either yesterday or today in class that helps you see why that is. Okay, that's it. You know, derivative of sine is cosine. Cosine, negative sine. Okay. Let's do problem now that we have all this knowledge in our noggins, in our heads. Okay, find the derivative of this beast. Okay, you have a u over a v, so we have to use our quotient rule. Again, quick review, our quotient rule says our bottom times derivative of top minus our top times the derivative of the bottom all over z bottom squared. Okay, our u u is sine of x our v is cosine of x minus 2 so our u prime our cosine of sine our, cosine, our derivative of sine is cosine and our derivative of cosine is negative sine and then the 2 just goes up by pi as my daughter would say so now we take our bottom times the derivative of the top minus our top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom of squared Someone has our cell phone. I think it's me. I do. Okay. Now, usually I don't have any combined like terms, but this time I'm going to because they're pretty nice. Not like terms, but foil it out. Okay. So here we get cosine square root of x minus 2 cosine all this minus negative sine squared of x which is a plus all over is the bottom squared now sorry my head's itchy what's cosine squared plus sine squared everybody at once Pythagorean theorem that's just one guys so really you get 1 minus 2 cosine of x all over all over cosine of x minus 2 squared ta-da ta-da okay I'm back let's play the harmonica no I don't simple harmonic motion okay what that means is if you have a weight and a string and it's bouncing it, will, it, it acts as usually well a harmonic oscillator but it, it means that it, it does the same thing over and over again harmoniously okay so well, let's take a look at a problem a weight hanging from a spring bobs up and down with the function of s equals 3 sine of t so that's our position we need to find the velocity and acceleration. So our velocity is the derivative of our motion. So our derivative of, of sine is cosine. Remember that 3 just comes out in front because constants just get to come out in front. Or not constants, coefficients get to come out in front of our derivative. Okay. Now our acceleration of t is we take the derivative of 3 cosine of t. So 
So our three still stays out in front. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. So it's negative three sine of t. And that's it. That's all there is to this problem. Well, let's take a look at the next one. Yes, these are important. You should know these. It'll make your life a lot easier. Okay, so memorize them right now. I'll wait. Okay. If you ever forget these, you can derive them. Okay. Let's take a look at this beast. Isn't tan equal to sine over cosine? Mm -hmm. So now if I use my quotient rule, I get the bottom times the derivative of the top. minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So this becomes a plus. So you get cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x all over cosine squared of x. But now what's sine squared plus cosine squared? That's right, it's 1. Which is a fancy term for secant squared of x. Hence, if you forget it, you can derive it. And you can derive the derivative, and then you're done. i got to pause again, guys. All right, one more slide. One more slide. Okay. Find the equation of the tangent line to y equals x times cosine of x at x equals 1. Okay. So first we have to find the derivative. Okay. Now this is x times cosine of x, right? A function times a function. So we have to use that prop rule. I told you guys this is going to come up an awful lot. Okay. So my u is x, u prime is 1, our v is cosine of x, and our v prime is negative sine of x, because derivative of cosine is negative sine. So u v prime plus u prime v, or however, I do it different every time, guys. So my x is my u times my v prime plus my u prime which is 1, times my v, which is cosine of x. Okay, So I get negative x sine of x plus cosine of x. So now I take this x equals 1 and I plug it in for x to get my slope, right? So I get negative 1 times sine of 1 plus cosine of 1. And when I plug that in, I get negative point, radians, please, negative 0.3012. So that's my slope. So now I have to go back and use my y minus y1 equals my slope times x minus x1. So I plug my slope in. Negative point three zero one two. My x coordinate is one. And my y coordinate is when I plug one into my original equation. So I plug in one. When I do that, I gotta use a calculator, guys. For some reason I didn't I didn't I just didn't write down. I just don't know why. But I'm like, nah, it's not important. Right. Cosine of 1. Mode. I'll 
play elevator music for you. Point five four. Okay. If you want to leave it like that, that's fine. If you want to expand it out, you get negative point three zero one two x minus plus point eight four one five. Okay, I'm gonna tend to like the second one better, but that's fine. You got an equation the first time. Too. Um, that's our video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. It's trick. It's calculus. It's trap. Trapules.